We're back with the CNN Climate Crisis Town Hall in minutes. Senator Kamala Harris and Amy Klobuchar. And let's continue now with businessman Andrew Yang. Now, Mr. Yang, I want to go to Sarah Smith, a graduate student at Columbia University studying climate and society. Her question is about geoengineering technologies that would aim to reverse global warming. Sarah? Your platform relies heavily on geoengineering and locally based efforts rather than aggressive federal emissions policies. Geoengineering poses major risks, and according to last year's IPCC report, even aggressive development of carbon remo removal technology is unlikely to keep warming below 1.5 degrees Celsius, absent substantial rapid reductions in emissions. Can you quantify the reduction in CO2 attainable from the geoengineering strategies you propose? I just want to clarify a point that she's making for some of our viewers. Uh, Sarah's question mentioned 1.5 degrees Celsius, which is the temperature increase that the international community, as you well know, considers catastrophic. Yeah. Uh, congrats. Columbia is a great school. Uh, I went there myself. <laughs> that doesn't make it good. Uh, so first... Uh, geoengineering is not the primary approach at all. We have to reduce emissions first and foremost. And if you look at my plan uh, of the five trillion, like a fraction of one of the trillions <laughs> is looking at geoengineering. We have to get the best of emissions, the primary driver um, uh, of climate change. The geoengineering, I just want us to think very, very big picture of what's happening. You have countries, island countries on the other side of the, of the world that are literally sinking underwater. And uh, we're lifting people. The UN is helping people move. Now, they don't have the capacity to do something dramatic to alter the environment. But imagine a country like China 25 years from now, who's going to be bearing the brunt of climate change in the same way that, that we are. They're not very consultative. And so you can imagine them doing something that affects us and the rest of the world, spraying sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. So we need to face facts about the scope of the challenge and lead globally. So I would convene a geoengineering summit and get countries from around the world to make sure that we don't have rogue actors just going off on their own. So this is my approach. It is not the primary approach, but it's something that we need to explore in the days ahead because the reality is the last four years have already been the four warmest years in recorded history. July is the warmest month in recorded history. The Earth is likely getting warmer around us. And even as we're attacking emissions, we need to start uh, researching innovative methods to address climate change. And I want to follow up on that specific point, uh, Mr. Yang, because you want to invest in these new technologies. I do. Like space mirrors and, as you point out, cloud seeding, which is actually spraying sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. Why divert federal money, which is obviously scarce, to these unproven and potentially risky ideas when there are known solutions out there that we all know, uh, solar power, wind, stuff like that, that we know already works? We are here, Wolf, together because we know this is a crisis. And in a crisis, all solutions have to be on the table. And so if you are attacking on one side, you also should be researching various alternatives on the other, and, and that to me is just responsible management and responsible leadership. Are all Americans going to have to drive electric cars? Well, electric cars, it's not something you have to do. It's awesome. <laughs> and so over time, yeah, we're gonna make it so that electric cars are, are the best thing to do. You feel like you're driving the future. And I did not just say that because Elon Musk endorsed me just the other week. <laughs> So, so what's, the, what's the answer? Are we all, we, are we all going to have to drive electric cars? Um, we are all going to love driving our electric cars. <laughs> will we have to drive electric cars? <laughs> well, the, the, there, will, there will still be some legacy gas guzzlers on the road for quite some time, because this is not a country where you're going to like, take someone's you know, like, clunker away from them. But you are going to offer to buy the clunker back and help them upgrade. Thank you for listening. See you in the next video. Please like and subscribe our channel. Bye-bye. Climate change uh, should be... They tell me it's going to be about eight questions. Um, the town hall audience is going to be climate change activists. So I'm sure they'll be very sophisticated, very engaged, very passionate. And... Yeah, it's a great opportunity. Not only that, but I have to say, CNN is 
pretty convenient for the office. So I'll say that uh, I, I, I 